So I've never done wraps before. Um, so we're going to give it a shot. But one of the things that I really don't like about the center console area is it looks great, but uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a bit of a scratch right there. And then there's fine scratches, obviously, on the piano black. Um, so I've got some carbon fiber uh, vehicle wrap. I'm going to try to put it on. Um, let's see how it looks, uh, mostly from a protective aspect than an aesthetic aspect. I've got the black carbon fiber right now. I'll include that information below. But I also ordered some orange. Um, so we'll kind of see what that's going to look like here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just measure this out, uh, the entire length of the console. We're going to trim it. Uh, and we'll come back as I try to lay it on. I was going to take out the center console piece, but I could not find any information online on any forums or videos how to do so. If anybody knows how, please share, because um, I'm sure that this install would go much easier if I could take out the middle console. Okay, so now that I've got the piece about the right size, what I'm going to do is kind of eyeball the gear shift and cut out that piece and lay it over. Be right back in a second. Okay, now as you can see, I've got it kind of roughed out. Um, next thing I'm going to do is try to trim as much excess as I can before we start pressing it down, just to limit the amount of trimming that we have to do while it's still on. All right, so as you can see, we've got kind of all the larger components that um, stick up. We've got the Exmo dial and the gear shift um, cut out just to give it some relief. So now we're going to peel the backing, uh, carefully stick it on, and then start manipulating and getting ready for trimming. All right, after peeling the backing and carefully sliding it down, I've now got it in place. So now I'm going to begin trimming and get ready. Okay, the first thing I did is kind of rubbing in the inside pieces. Um, I'm not going to hit it with a blow dryer, give it some heat, and see if I can't get the outsides to mold around just a little bit better. Um, I'm just slowly working it, heating it with a blow dryer, and coming back. Okay, we're going to try that again. I actually liked uh, the way that it looked over the gear shift and over the trim. Um, and I trimmed too short. So uh, I've trimmed a little bit tighter this time. Round two, here we go.